Hello everyone, I would like to welcome you to the uh, January general body meeting for the University of Kansas. Um, this is going to be the video version, um, so we'll be going at a pretty decent pace, um, but if you do need to stop and read anything or um, if you would like to have more information, do feel free to contact me or pause the video. So getting right along into it. Um, we do have an icebreaker question. Feel free to answer this in the comments if you would like. Um, but what is your third favorite soda? We had some great answers at our general body meeting. Um, but my personal third favorite soda would probably be orange soda. Uh, any kind will do. Um, I am not too picky. Um, but then jumping right along, I'll make sure to answer that. We do have our roll call. Um, these, all of these individuals that you see here um, are individuals that represent you um, in some way, shape, or form um, in the executive um, board and during executive board meetings. Um, so do reach out to them if you have any interest in learning more about AIS or um, if you have any questions about how to join um, or any of the programming we have planned. Um, then really quickly going into the agenda so you kind of know what to expect from this video. Um, we do, we will be having an introduction to the AIS, just a refresher on what exactly we are, since I know we all just came back from a very long and very enjoyable break. Um, we will be doing a quick um, national report section where we'll just be giving you guys an update um, from nationals um, and the quad on what exactly has happened um, or is happening. We do have some events coming up that I hope you are looking forward to. Uh, we do have some outreach opportunities, which I do want to remind everyone of. And finally, we do have our committees, uh, which are going to be kind of a um, new feature for this semester, which I'm happy to unveil. Um, and we'll get into that in a little, bit, uh, a little bit later. But starting off with AIS, just a quick reminder, we stand for the American Institute of Architecture Students. Um, and for our national contacts, um, do follow at AIS org uh, and at AIS Midwest on Instagram. Those are the two that our chapter kind of falls under. Um, and then for Slack, if you are a dues paying member um, and you aren't a part of these Slack channels, do feel free to join these Slack channels. Um, they are a great way for you to get up to date information directly from nationals um, rather than having to go through me and they're going to be much more quick um, and informative about it. Um, so about AIS, just really quickly reminding you what exactly we stand for and what exactly we are. Um, we are, our vision is to empower the voices, ideas, and actions for the future. Uh, our mission is to advance leadership, design, and service among students. Um, our scale is uh, pretty large with an international scale uh, with more than 150 chapters ranging from China, Germany, Central America, uh, the Middle East, and of course, uh, North America. Those North American chapters um, are split into the Northeast, West, South, and the best one, Midwest quads, uh, of which we belong. Um, and then if you have any more information on AIS as an organization, um, the best way to, to look into that is the uh, AIS.org website, and there is an About Us uh, section. I do also want to remind everyone that we are the uh, one of five national collateral organizations, those others being the American Institute of Architects, the Associate for Collegiate Schools of Architects, the National Architectural Accreditation Board, and the National Council of Architectural Registration Board, all of which have beautiful acronyms you can see on the left and bottom. Um, those, uh, or the five of us kind of gear architecture in the direction um, for the future and what exactly our larger goals should be. Um, and so being the only um, student voice, we do have a very um, unique perspective and we are very much future oriented. Um, so we definitely bring um, that unique perspective to the tables and to those discussions. Uh, and then we also belong to the West Quad, which are all of these lovely states highlighted in purple here. Um, these are going to be fellow states that have uh, that serve under the same quad director and serve under the same national president and vice president, of course. Um, but we are all kind of banded together by the fact that uh, we are all in the Midwest region. Um, we also do have, uh, or we also are the only quad to have a mascot, and that is Cornelius, as you will see here right in front of the DeBruce Center. Um, we had the opportunity to have him last semester, um, but unfortunately, as every semester he does travel to a new uh, school, he has left the University of Kansas and is going to Cincinnati. Um, so if you're not following him, um, do follow him at, at Cornelius.AIS on Instagram, um, as you can follow his uh, Cincinnati journey and you can catch up on other places he's been uh, with his posts. 
And then really quickly going over the national report, um, there isn't a whole lot to report on, um, but right now we are currently in the middle of Thrive. Thrive is normally a conference that happens in purchase in person, um, very similar to Forum and uh, Grassroots. But this year it's going to be stretched out over a longer period of time. It's start happening every Wednesday, starting last Wednesday um, at 6 p.m. Central Time. Um, so do be looking forward to that and looking out for that. If you are not already signed up, that is perfectly okay. Sign up can happen at any point in time um, and you guys can uh, be a part of that conversation. Thrive focuses mostly on career readiness and preparedness. The last conversation that I had last Wednesday was about different fields of architecture, different opportunities that architecture degree can lead you down, um, and the future ones will have more information on uh, different aspects of the architecture practice. Um, then we have the new fiscal year. This is just a really quick reminder that um, during the forum uh, COP meetings, it was decided that the fiscal year would be changing from starting in September uh, to starting in June. Um, this isn't going to really impact you this year as your uh, membership will last until the end of August, but um, when you buy for next year, um, it will only last until the end of uh, May and then you'll have to buy again in June. Um, so you do have a little bit of an overlap time uh, between memberships or a larger one this year where you can buy membership, but um, where you can buy membership, but do just do keep that in mind. Again, it won't impact you right now, um, but that is one of the major changes that happened in the COP. Um, the next thing I would like to do is congrats Annie Ringhofer, um, our uh, chapter member who won the In Studio Made competition. Um, super amazing. She beat out everyone and got the grand prize. Um, so we're super excited for her and we'd love to give her a round of applause. Um, then just really quickly going over forum, we did have six chapter members attend and I feel comfortable speaking for all of them when I say it was an amazing conference. Uh, it was virtually, so it wasn't quite what we were originally intending when the uh, location was announced, but we had fun nonetheless and we enjoyed some of the amazing conversations that happened. Um, and then I do want to remind everyone about the new design competition, the Parklet design competition. Um, it is also a cash prize competition for showing off your architecture skills and designing um, a parklet. Uh, more information on that can be seen at AIS.org. Uh, just go ahead and search the parklet design competition uh, blog post. Uh, and then the next thing, uh, the final thing to do with nationals is the new board of directors. Um, per every forum, we do have a uh, board of Directors uh, election, and this forum was no different, um, with uh, Scott Cornelius winning the title of President, Shannon DeFranza getting the title of National Vice President, and Bailey Knoll getting the title of Midwest Quad Director. Um, I personally have had conversations with all of these individuals, and so I can say without a doubt our organization is in great hands next, uh, next year, and we will have an amazing year uh, without a doubt. But really quickly going a little bit more into our chapter and our events, we do have our February events, um, starting off with firm visits, then Valentine's meme, um, then KUR hangouts and or KUR networking, and then KUR hangouts and general body meeting. Getting into the firm visits, it'll be a series of firm visits exploring the theme of what are my options. Um, stu architecture students do have many options and firms can express that in many ways. Um, so we will be exploring that. It will be happening twice a month starting the last week of February. So there will be five firm visits in total and it will be happening on Zoom, the very same Zoom channel that our general body meetings and pretty much all of our other events happen on as well. Uh, we also do have the Valentine's meme. Um, this is going to be similar to the uh, What Do You Mean game and Quiplash. Um, it will be a game slash competition happening February 12th from 7 to 8 p.m. at this uh, at the same exact Zoom channel um, that you've heard a million times before, I'm sure, and will be shared in your um, class group meetings and on our Instagram. Um, this is going to be a super fun opportunity, and I highly recommend showing up just to meet with some of your architecture friends and get some networking in. Um, we do have, uh, speaking of networking, the KU Arc Networking um, Program, which is going to be an opportunity for you to get to hear from alumni about specific topics. What specific topics? We don't know yet, but we'd love to hear from you what your topics are and what you would like to hear about uh, being a student. This will happening. This will be happening once a month on a weekday at 6 p.m. I know, pretty vague, but um, I will let you guys know as soon as we decide a date um, 
is on Instagram and through our group chats. It will be happening on Zoom, though, I can reassure you. Uh, so do be uh, saving this Zoom information as it will come up again. We also will be having our KU Arc Hangouts. Um, also kind of vague about this one. It'll be happening every once in a while on a weekday at 6 p.m. Again, very vague. Um, but again, I will let you guys know as soon as a date is decided. Um, these will be hangouts with other schools. Again, we are an international student organization. So we kind of want to remind you guys of that and give you guys the opportunity to network with uh, schools across the nation and maybe even internationally, depending on how the semester goes. Um, we are currently looking for schools uh, to visit. So if you have a specific school that you are interested in hearing from and talking to their students, do feel free uh, to write a comment below um, or direct message me um, in any way you would like. Um, and then this will be happening on Zoom as well. And it'll be a fun opportunity for us to play games and just chat about how school is going. And then I do want to remind everyone about our general body meetings. Um, that is the video you are watching right now, but there will be ones in person um, or in person virtually, I should say, um, and not recorded that will be happening um, on the last Wednesday of every month. Uh, so it's going to be the 24th of February, the 31st of March, and the 28th of April. Um, general body uh, meetings are probably the best way for you to understand how to get involved and to listen to opportunities that will be happening um, in the future semesters. Uh, again, a great opportunity it will be happening at the very same Zoom link. Um, and I do highly, highly, highly recommend you show up to these if you um, decide to show up to one thing every month for AIS. This is probably the thing um, you should show up to. Um, then really briefly going over outreach, um, faculty highlights will be continuing. Um, this is just our program from last semester that highlights our faculty members and some of the amazing work that they've done um, and kind of gets to uh, lets you get to know them, even if you haven't taken them or had them um, as a professor yet. Then we will be continuing the student shout out initiative, which I hope you all enjoyed and gave a thumbs up on Instagram. This is just our opportunity to shout out some of the amazing students we have in our chapter and in our school. Uh, you do not have to be a chapter member to get shouted out, uh, but this is just our opportunity to kind of recognize that we do have some amazing uh, people within our school. Uh, then going over into Instagram, if you are not following our Instagram, this is probably one of the best ways to hear about information um, in between general body meetings um, and uh, get to hear what exactly we're doing and see some of our um, other outreach initiatives. And then we do have our YouTube channel that is probably where you're watching this right now. Um, this will be where we have all of our recorded sessions that are informative and that we feel uh, need to be on the YouTube channel and um, develop kind of a library of materials. So then going on to committees, this is something that is very um, new this semester. Um, and is going to be very unique, but I hope uh, you decide to get involved with at least one of them. Um, there are, are the Freedom by Design Committee, the Creators Ball Committee, the Calendar Committee, and the Advocacy Committee. Um, going in right away, Freedom by Design is um, finding ways to help the community. It's a very simple goal, but um, it's fun nonetheless. Um, there will be uh, Marvelous Mondays happening every Monday, uh, sharing information uh, about architecture school, and giving you a lovely little um, pieces of joy to start off your week. Um, this is also a great way to make friends and uh, serve the community, as I've already stated. Um, it's super fun. Um, and they are right now looking at partnering with the Lawrence Community Shelter um, just to help them out in any ways, since community shelters are uh, oftentimes hurt the most with pandemics and um, issues like this. Uh, if you are interested in joining any of these committees, um, the QR code you do see below is a great way to let us know. Um, it's just a quick forum uh, to give us your contact info so that we know and uh, to tell us which committee you are interested in joining um, so that we know to add you to those conversations. Then we have Creators Ball. Um, the theme for this is going to be the upside, upside down masquerade, kind of a play with the mask for COVID. Um, it will be tentatively happening the, uh, April 23rd at Broken Arrow Park. And we're looking for design and architecture students to help out plan the event. If you are not familiar with what Creators Ball is, allow me to uh, paint, allow me to uh, inform you. Um, Creators Ball is our annual um, kind of gala event to show off students' work and get students together to celebrate a successful year. Um, normally, it does happen in person at 
a venue, but this year due to COVID, we are hoping to still have it in person, but at a um, park instead uh, with food trucks and a, a bunch of amazing opportunities. However, um, we are still waiting for the final approval from KU to allow it to happen. So even if you, uh, it doesn't happen though, we will find programming to kind of highlight some of our students' work um, throughout the semester. And so if you do decide to join Creators Ball, um, you will still be helping in some way, shape or form, just spreading a little bit of recognition for the students. Then we do have our calendar committee. Um, this is going to be designing the AIS uh, KU 2020 two strip calendars. Um, for those of you that aren't aware what the strip calendars are, they are about, they are long, thin calendars, about three inches wide and about three feet long um, that were originally designed to go on the edge of drafting tables, uh, but since then have kind of uh, been used to put up in cubicles, um, put up on columns in houses, um, or just to be put up around the house. Um, we do have quite the following for them, uh, but this year is the 50th anniversary, so we kind of want to shout it from the rooftops, um, and we want to do something particularly special. So this committee is a great way for you to kind of stretch out your design and business legs and um, get into uh, that practice uh, of designing and running a business. Uh, the main charges we are is to redesign the calendar for the 50th anniversary and develop marketing material so that once we do start selling it, um, it uh, is uh, all prepped and ready for next year's uh, committee. Um, then we also are looking into hopefully, assuming everything goes to plan and COVID doesn't prevent us, uh, maybe doing a tour of Mainline Printing's facility. Um, this is a super cool facility. I had the honor of um, touring it myself last semester, and I can reassure you it is definitely worth um, the committee involvement and uh, getting involved. Our final thing, and the one brand new for the semester, is um, advocacy. Um, this is going to be kind of focusing on topics of sustainability, equity, and health, with programming happening every month with one of those topics. Um, it is, uh, like I said, starting the semester. So being a part of this committee, you do definitely kind of decide how this shapes up for future um, years and how exactly this uh, committee functions and operates, um, definitely giving you a lot of planning, um, practice and organization uh, skills and leadership skills, definitely. Um, it is going to be doing programming um, that varies throughout the months, depending on the topics. Um, but if you are interested in here, uh, in spreading students' voice and empowering students, um, do definitely scan the QR code and mark them as interested, as that you are interested. And finally, um, we do have our town hall section. Um, while I can't receive or answer questions uh, immediately in person or over the Zoom channel, um, I do encourage you that if you do have any questions, do contact me at, at AISKUPresident at gmail.com. Um, and if you are interested in joining, if I've thoroughly sold AIS to you, um, do feel free to join um, AIS.org. Um, just in the top right hand corner, you'll see a join tab and you can go ahead and join. It is um, currently kind of on the sale right now um, because you do have uh, less time that you are able to use under this uh, year's membership. And then our social media, just a quick reminder, is at KU underscore AIS for Instagram and AIS University of Kansas for YouTube. Um, if you are interested in any of these committees, I have the uh, QR code right here. And then if you are first year wanting to, to grow your leadership opportunities, do feel free to fill out the first year rep form uh, on the right. But that concludes our general body meeting for January. Do be looking out for the February general body meeting and all of the amazing programming I listed um, in the previous slides uh, and check out Instagram to keep updated with all of that. But for now, that ends this general body meeting. Y'all have a wonderful semester.